Not a games video today, but more of an experiment with MicroPython and the PyPico. Um, just some things that I've noticed that uh, I've just got a, a cut down little program here. What I was trying to do is find a way of uh, uh, producing sprites better, but uh, not got there yet. But I did find this little command here. See, print dir display. Now, if you remember, display is what we pull in from Pico display, which Pi Moroni have written. Pi Moroni have written. That's what display is. But if you run this little dir command, uh, let me just run that. Um, I draw my little plane on the screen, but that's not really what I'm interested in. I'm interested in the bottom of the shell there, and it tells you all the different things that the class can do. When Pimer only update this, if they update the display thing, maybe we'll see some things change in here. But anyway, that brings me to the point of this video. If I open up my uh, Pico at the moment and look at it, I have a lot of software on it because I'm storing it actually on this Pico at the moment. Now, whether that's a good thing or not, I don't know, but I'm going to find out because if I go and look at um, this version here, this is the version of the software for the Pico and um, Pimeroni's version of it. And it looks like within the last couple of days, they've uploaded a new version of it. So what I want to see today is what happens to my programs that are on there if I download a new version. Because it might be that Pimeroni produced something that's got fantastic new features on it to use Pico Display. If that's the case, I want to make sure I'm not going to lose everything that's on there. Now, I have backed it up for this experiment. This is the current one. Oh, just another thing to, to, to look at as well. Just before I start, we've got here, when we connect, let's close that open dialog. When we connect to MicroPython on the Pico, we can see the date here, 1st of the 24th, 2021, so 24th of Jan. And this checksum here that ends in CA0. So what I want to do is see whether that changes when we update the software as well. So let's try and update the software if I can remember how to do it. I think I need to go to my pico here i need to hold this button down don't i, I need to unplug it so i'm holding the button down and put it in which should then run it as usb mode what's on the usb at the moment nothing i wonder if that's got the version on it can't remember no <laughs> all right so let's go back and this was the old one um 29th of jan the first one that i installed on it when did i that's 524 so this one's a bit bigger than new one today so let's drop that on there it should restart okay so it's restarted and hopefully i should be able to connect to it so the previous version was ended in cao and it was on the 24th of the first so let's stop that connected again so now i've got the second of the eighth and uh, it's a different version okay so that's my pico updated with new software but what's happened to my programs ah they're still on there excellent so from that we've learned it's safe to upload the new um, pico display uh, micro python version onto the pico without losing your software run. But of course, this is a stupid place to store it anyway, because if you've worked hard on something, you don't want to lose it. So store it on your computer and somewhere else as well. But that's good. Let's tell you, whoops, cancel. Tell you what, let's just run this again and just see, uh, that's the old list of things. Let's run it again and just see if anything's changed. So, no, it doesn't look like it still end at the same point, but maybe that's something that we can look at to see whether they extend the software later on. Interesting experiment. And I thought it would be useful for me to do it in case you're scared you're going to lose your stuff off the Pico. Not that that's a real good place to store stuff, really.
that's the next video sorted.